Hey, what's up guys, my name is Sky and in this video I'm gonna show you how to make a simple pickup object system for your game in Unreal Engine 5. So obviously we are gonna need some objects. For that I'm gonna be using mini survival props from the asset store. If you wanna check it out, I'm gonna leave a link for you in the description. Without further ado, let's get into it. So the first thing I wanna do is I wanna go into my character. I'm gonna select the mesh and I'm gonna double click it to open it. And now I wanna find the bone for the right hand. So scroll down until you find the hand R, select it and click, right click it and add socket. And I'm gonna rename this socket to weapon socket underscore R. And what sockets is, it's basically a slot where we can slot in the stuff that we need. So for this uh, tutorial, we are gonna slot in uh, weapons and tools. So it's not very visible, so I'm gonna right click again and add preview asset and i'm gonna search for the sword from the asset pack and now we can see that it's all weird it's because we just created the asset so we need to manipulate it a little bit so i'm gonna move it down a bit here i'm gonna also rotate it so it's facing the other way by 180 degrees and move it a bit further in so it's actually sitting in the palm of the hand like so is good enough for the for this video so i'm gonna save it and we can close that so now we need to also add a chart actor. So I'm going to select the mesh again, click on add and search for chart actor. I'm going to call this a weapon. And we need a parent. So under sockets, parent socket, uh, click on this uh, button and search for the socket we created. So for me, it's a weapon socket R. And that's it. Now we are going to compile this, go into the event graph, and we need to create event for equipping it. So right click custom event i'm gonna call it a uh, weapon equip and we need an input on it so click on input and i'm gonna call it a uh, weapon just like that and we need to change the type to actor and under actor we are gonna click on the class reference the purple one so now i'm gonna drag the weapon the child actor we created and I'm gonna drag from that and search for set child actor class. And then I'm gonna duplicate that with Ctrl D. And I'm gonna search for sequence and plug that into the event. And one goes up and one goes down. And we need this one to be first because we are gonna leave this blank so that every time we swap weapons, it resets the whole thing. That way we are gonna prevent some errors and bugs in the future. So I'm gonna plug the input into here and that's basically the whole event done. So now we just need to create what we are gonna equip. So I'm just gonna compile, save, go into my content browser. I'm gonna right click, create blueprint and actor. And I'm gonna call this master item. The reason why it's called master item is because this is gonna be the item in the world that we are gonna pick up. So I'm gonna open this. I'm gonna add static mesh, it's uh, right here. Now we're just gonna set it to let's say the sphere because it's the closest one and scroll down and search for a collision presets and set it to overlap all because we need to be able to walk through it then go into event graph and under event actor begin overlap we are gonna cast it to our character so third person character for me and plug other actor into object drag from the character and search for a weapon equip like so and then drag from the weapon release it and click on promote variable and i'm just gonna leave it named as weapon now we need to set it to instance editable and expose on spawn with the variable selected compile save and we are done here so now we need to actually create the, the weapon we are gonna equip so i'm gonna create another actor so blueprint actor and i'm gonna call this bp sword let's say let's make a sword for example open that and add a static mesh and I'm gonna search for the sword that we used earlier. Scroll down, make sure it's overlap all, otherwise it's gonna not work very well. And yeah, that's it. Now I'm gonna also duplicate the sword. And I'm gonna call this, let's say, a bat. And I'm gonna change the static mesh to baseball bat, which is in the asset pack. So it's this one. And now we can we basically completed it so now i'll drag the master item into the board and under default in weapon we can select which item we are gonna get when we walk over it so for this i'm gonna select sword then i'm gonna drag another one here 
and now for this i'm gonna select uh, but that we created and now when i walk over one of them i get the sword walk over the other one i get the bat so you might uh, last thing you might want it the master item to actually look like the item so the easiest way to go about it is when you uh, have it in the word you select the static mesh and you change that mesh to correspond with the item so for here i'm gonna change it to sword for here i'm gonna change it to bat and this is the easiest way to go about it because then you don't have to have 20 different blueprints in the world for each item as you can see it corresponds everything works as it's intended so yeah thanks for watching if you are interested on how to develop this system even further there is gonna be a video in the future where i'm gonna uh, upgrade the system and uh, we are gonna make a combat system with it as well so subscribe leave a like comment and all of that if you wanna see that and thanks for watching see ya